tripping down memory lane? Didn't anybody ever tell you being nosy is a bad habit? Sorry. Whose scrapbook is it? It's none of your business. Hmm. What's this? Hey, hold on. Please, let me go. Not until I get some answers. I don't have any. You haven't heard the questions yet. Why did you leave the Centels like that? You know, we both left without telling anybody. They're probably wondering what happened to us. You should get back, Alec. You're the guest of honor. What's wrong? Can't we talk about this later? I need some time to think. About what? Marrying me? Hey, I'm over here. You can't keep running away. We've played it like this before, and it doesn't work. We're not going to do it again. I'm not running away from you. I proposed to you, and you ran out the door. I think I deserve an explanation. You do, and I'm going to give you one. When? Some other time? That's just not good enough. Whatever is bothering you is bothering you right now, and it's affecting us both, together, this minute. But there. Alec. There's something that I haven't told you. You must have been awfully thirsty when you came in here. Hmm? You let it go flat. The beer. Oh. It appears as if it needs a new head. That makes two of us. No, the beer is fine. Sounds serious. Critical. Edging on to life support systems. Ah. Uh, in that case, you better take it slowly. I'm Gawa. Big man speak with straight tongue. Mm -hmm. How you doing there? Hello. Hey, Chase. You didn't stick around for the dinner either. Not my style. How about a light, pig? Coming up. Buffet dinner parties or parties in general? Yes. 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 I stuck around as long as I could for Alex's sake. How about you? Why aren't you there? Well, Ms. Wyatt and I prefer to take each other in small doses. Uh -huh. Thanks, Pete. You ought to work for the lady. Oh, please. I was almost related to her. The word grim took on new meaning. If you two need anything, give me a shout. I'll be in the kitchen. Unfortunately, what I need, you haven't got. Well, your life must be going great. You have a TV show that's a hit. Women hanging around your stage door. Must be great. <laughs> yeah, great is the word for it, all right. What I can't understand is how you do it. I have enough trouble mishandling one relationship. Know my secret? I don't. I'm too busy to date anybody right now. Well, you can't be that busy. I've got a pile of work waiting for me, even as we speak. <sighs> I know what you mean about trying to handle one single meaningful relationship, though. Seems like you don't know what you want until you realize you can't have it. One of life's crueler little ironies. Yes, it is. Especially when you spend your whole life thinking you're never going to find it. And then, suddenly, it comes right into your life. Everything you ever wanted in one little package. Let me ask you something. Fire away, baby. Why is it? The moment she comes into your life, the moment you see her, everything else around you, absolutely tries to break you up. Oh, it does seem that way sometimes, doesn't it? I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, Cagney, my man, but sometimes these things just aren't meant to work out. Fate plays tricks on you, and when that is happening, it is better to let it go. Don't even fight it, don't try. No matter how much it hurts, because in the long run, everybody's going to be better off. Luckily, I'm not to that point yet, I don't think. This may sound strange, Chase, but I need commitment in my life. To one person. Susie? The day we decided to get married was the happiest day of my life. A lot of guys wouldn't understand that. What is it? If you have something to tell me, then say it. 
You know how you're always talking about how you've changed since the accident and being on the island? Well, you have. Go on. Well, you wanting to go to medical school. It's a wonderful idea. Wanting to help people is a terrific thing to do, and you'll make an incredible doctor. I know you will. What? While you were changing, so was I. Okay. See, time doesn't stand still. We thought you were dead, I and mean, that's what they told us. I know that. I, I didn't know what to do. If I could have brought you back, I would have, but I couldn't. So I had to believe that you were gone, and gone for good. And now that I'm back, now that you know that I'm not gone for good... No, you don't understand. I am trying to. Well, then listen to me. Go on. When something like this happens, a person has two choices. They can either think that, that the person is coming back, but then all they can do is just stand there and wait. No matter how long it takes, it could be for the rest of their life, and the person may never come back. So you took the second choice. You decided to move on. I understand that that was the healthy thing to do. I decided to accept the truth instead of hide from it. Which is? A dare look. We had a lot of problems before I went away. We both know that, like... Like whether or not we were going to have sex before we were married. That was a real stumbling block for both of us. But we handled it. And I respected you for the way you felt. It made me love you more. I want to marry you more than I want anything in this entire world. When we're married, it'll just be one big problem we won't have to deal with. You don't understand. Look, if, if, if we try... Alec, we'll I don't you. love you. I'm sorry, but I don't. Not that way. You don't realize how much I need you. Talk about a blue room. And I don't mean the color of the walls. You missed a wonderful dinner. Well, I've had so many lately, I'm trying to cut down. Girl's got to watch her figure. Especially if no one else is. Who did you say you were with this evening? I saw you leaving with Cagney. Good for you. Oh, things didn't go as you planned, huh? Didn't they? I don't know. Last time I looked, it said 9.30. Uh, what time do you have? I keep my time to myself. Justine, hey. Let's cut this out, huh? Let's talk to each other like, like human beings. That would be a switch. Justine, you're wasting your time. Cagney is in love with Susie. Oh, the warmth of the girl. Luckily, I wasn't taken in by your offer of well, a serious tete-a-tete. Well, everyone tete. else in town can see it. Why can't you? I wonder what the loudest radio station in Henderson... Justine, I know that look. I've been there. It's the look of a girl who didn't get what she wanted. And who said I didn't want a few minutes of peace and quiet? You're just making yourself miserable chasing after him. Oh, so now I'm chasing him. Well, aren't you? No, I am not. And even if I was, hasn't there ever been anything in your life that you wanted so badly you would have done anything to get it? Yes. Well? I eventually got it. It only cost me my best friend. I haven't got one to lose. You could have one. I didn't have it very long. And a lot of innocent people got hurt along the way. They're badly hurt. Was it worth it? Yeah, it was. I risked my case. Ah, uh, but then again, Warren was, was like any other man I've ever met. He would have been worth ten times the sorrow and the pain. Your husband, Warren? Uh, it's funny. You know, the whole time while he was alive and in jail, I never... Well, I tried never to think of him. 
As everyone said, what a rotten person he was, but he really wasn't. He was kind and thoughtful. You know, he saved his son's life. In the end, that's what killed him. He sounds like quite a guy. Yeah, he was. We loved each other very much. Mm -hmm. He meant everything to me. <laughs> Don't ever do this again. You understand? Do what? This. Recognize it? It's got your style written all over it. What are you getting so upset That's about? my wife. It was your wife. Your dad, remember? When Wendy found out I was a photographer, she asked my professional opinion. I told her she could easily pursue a career as a model. She asked me if I'd take some shots, and I did. That's all there was to it. OK, you listen carefully, because we're only going to go over this once. I don't fall for that innocent act for a second. I know how you like your photo sessions to end. You're overreacting. And you're a photographer only as long as I say you're a photographer. Don't play games with me. How'd you get that, huh? Did you break into her apartment? Hamilton, you are an accomplice to robbery, an accomplice to kidnapping, and a whole slew of other things the police would love to get their hands on. Don't ever forget that. How could I? I must say, though, that I am truly struck by your concern for Wendy. It's reassuring to know there's someone in this town that you care so deeply about. Besides Jonah, of course. Why shouldn't I? She was the only person who stood by me in this whole town. She even loved me once. Once? What happened? I dropped mm. dead. Which is exactly what's going to happen to you if I find out you've been fooling around with her. Are you crazy throwing my dresses on the floor like this? These are very expensive. Well, funny expensive as they are, how they didn't find their way back into the closet. This apartment was a mess, and I could not even walk in here, let alone sit down. I laid all of these dresses out so that I could figure out which one of these I wanted to wear to Liza's party. And then after I reached, oh, why am I wasting my breath on you? You have no idea of the importance of, of fashion or what to wear, the proper things, the proper occasions. I beg your pardon. I understand the need all too well. It's just I never had a rich mommy to buy me everything my dried up little heart desired. Tell whoever that is that I do not want to see them. Oh, think of the hearts you'll break. And I am taking a shower and I'm going to bed. I have a photo session with Breton. Heaven forbid it should be someone to see me. Hi, come on in. What's going on in here? Oh, tropical storm Wendy just blew through. Don't pay any attention. I hope I didn't interrupt anything. I, I didn't know where else to turn. No, 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 of course not. Are you okay? You look like you've been crying. Come here, sit with me on the sofa. I can't. You can't sit? Why not? I feel like the walls are giving in on me. What's... It's Chase, isn't it? All right, Justine. Okay, where is my bubble bath? Have you been using it to wash your hands again? Tell me that. Whatever you do, don't show any consideration for anybody else in the room. Can't you even say hello to Adair? Adair. Hi. Hi. Um. Well, I asked you a question. I'm trying to take a bath. What happened to the shower you announced to the media just moments ago? <laughs> Justine, maybe I should be going. No, 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 no. You don't have to go. Wendy's just about to get all wet, aren't you, Wendy? Well, I would be if you would keep your hands off my things. I don't know what you're talking about. No, you don't. You don't. Ha! You don't. No, I don't. I don't. Ha! I don't. And would you please get out of here because Adair is upset and she wants to talk. Don't worry. I don't want to be here any more than you don't want me here. See, ah, here it is. I found it. Now tell me, what good is my bubble bath doing me in the kitchen? Well, you found it, so just buzz it on out of here so we can talk. Well, go ahead. Talk. Who's stopping you? Out! Now! Adair, I'm really sorry. I just had... Adair? I'm... Adair? Oh, Wendy! I... Adair? Alec, my son, welcome. How are you? I'm fine, Big. I'm fine. It's really good to see you again. Well, happy endings are always welcome. Yeah, you can say that again. Well, let's have something to celebrate. Well, no, no, I'm going to take a rain check. I'm really not in the mood tonight. I just came by to see Chase. 
Well, anything you say, but uh, I'll just remember, we have to have a talk about you coming back to play the piano someday. I won't forget. All right. <laughs> hey, hey, do you have a booth? Hi, oh, that's all right. I'm going to be leaving right now anyway. Chase? Later. Later. Alec? See you. Bye. Big. Oh, thank you, my lad. All the best. Yeah. Hey, what's up? I thought you'd be with a dare. So did I. But that was until I found out. Found out what? The big news. Dare and I are through. Caput fini. What are you... Come on, what are you talking about? You were going to get engaged tonight. Now, what happened? All evening started out so perfectly. I had it all planned. The things I was going to say to Adair, the way I was going to propose to her. Well, did you? Right before she ran away. Again. And you don't know where she is? Oh, I ran after her. I caught up to her. We talked for a little while. She said she had something on her mind. Something that she found hard to say. Could you tell me what it is? She doesn't love me. Come, come on, what are you talking about? Oh, that's what about? she said. She said she didn't love me. She said she, she didn't want to marry me. But that's crazy. She said she had changed since I'd been gone. The thought of her kept me going. You know what I mean? Yes, I do know what you mean. So anyway, she wanted to be alone. I thought I'd come and find you. Maybe, maybe you can tell me what happened. If I could. I mean, maybe you saw her with somebody else while I was gone. Someone from school, maybe. No, no, I, I haven't. No, you couldn't. Of course you didn't follow her around all the time while I was gone. Not exactly, no. Going over what she said, trying to figure out what could have happened. If, if it wasn't someone, then... Then what else could it be? Come on, she's a woman. Now, you know how unpredictable they are. She's probably just overwhelmed that you're being back. She needs time to let it sink in. She loves you, Alec. I know she does. That's not what she said. But there couldn't be anyone else. You're the only person for her. Everybody knows that. It, come on, just give her time to get over the shock, will you? The shock of your being back. And of the proposal. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah, I wish I could believe that. Something happened. Something has changed to dare. I have to find out what it is. <laughs> If I tell Alec the truth, then what? Then what'll happen? It happened. But it's over. No, it's not. It is. It didn't mean anything. A one-night stand? Yeah, that's all it was. You're a liar. You made her fall in love with you. Now all she wants is you. You. My brother. She doesn't love me. She doesn't. You couldn't wait until I was gone. That's not true. All those times, you pretended that you hated her when you really wanted her for yourself. That's not true. We thought you were dead. But I wasn't. How were we supposed to know that? Alec, you've got to believe me. I'd never do anything to hurt you. You have ruined my life. But you've done it for the last time. You hear me? The last time. Alec, give me a chance. I'll make this up to you. It wasn't intentional. We thought that you were dead. I heard you. Think about that, Chase. Think about what it means to be dead. Because that's what you're going to be. I'm going to kill you. You're a dead man, you hear me? You're a dead man. No. No, Alec, I can't let you do that. I can't let it happen. 
Did you get Jonas sizes? Of course I did. Great, I'll pick up the things you wanted tomorrow. No, you won't. I'm gonna take care of that myself. You are? Mm-hmm. Hey, I've been getting a kick out of being a free man the past few days. And as Jonas' father, not only is it my duty to pick out his clothes, it's my right. Well, it may be your right, but it's taking a big risk. Those flimsy disguises you've been wearing... All right, always... as a matter of fact, that reminds me. I want you to take this list and get these things first thing in the morning. Where am I supposed to find this stuff? I don't know. Try the yellow pages. Wigs, beards, mm -hmm. liquid latex. Are you sure about this? Have I ever needed your advice before? Yeah, and if this doesn't work, you're right back in prison again. And this time, I might be right alongside you. Well, then, that's all the more reason to listen when I give an instruction. Warren, would Save you your just... breath. It's going to work just the way all my other plans have worked. Hamilton, when the walls come tumbling down on all of my good friends here in Henderson, I have to pay them the honor of being in attendance. I mean, if I can't see the looks on their faces, what's the point? Now tell me. Thank <laughs> you.